Hello everybody, it's Kyle Dahl from Scorpion Power System USA. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the new 40mm high speed cooling fan from Scorpion. I'm going to show you how I mount it on my model, how I wire it up, and then we're going to go out and fly it and see what kind of temperature differences we get between not running a fan and with running a fan. So this fan is really nice actually, the quality is immaculate. It's machined out of aluminum, and then there's also two-tone anodizing on it, which gets you the black and gold coloring, which you want for your Scorpion product. So for mounting it, it's very simple. There's four screws and four little washers, which are included in the package. And you'll want to mount it with the logo side facing the ESC. That way the air is blowing onto the ESC as well. So I'll go ahead and start this process. So this fan is designed for the Scorpion Tribunus 200 and the Scorpion Tribunus 300. So all of the Scorpion ESCs come pre-drilled with holes in the top cooling case of the ESC. And those are for a fan like this. People used to use other manufacturers of fans, but Scorpion finally went out and did their own because every other fan uh, in hard flying or in a crash, they just weren't designed to take the rigors of RC helicopters because it was just small computer fans or something. So Scorpion finally went out and made their own and this one is really really nice. So not everybody will need a cooling fan on their helicopter, it kind of depends on your flying style and your model as well. Some models have better cooling than others, some pilots just fly harder. Like me, I just fly where it's really hot. Here in the summertime it's upwards of 40 degrees centigrade which is 110 Fahrenheit. So I can do with a little bit of cooling from time to time. So the ESC is mounted up. That wasn't so hard, was it? Now for wiring, uh, what Scorpion recommends to do is just get a little wire harness cable. I have one here from Spectrum. It's a heavy duty six inch wire harness. And what we'll do is we'll pull power, we'll split power from the one of the BEC cables, which we'll use to power the fan. So let's get to mounting that. Alright, so I'm going to use the slave wire here, so I'm going to pull it out and then I'm going to plug in my Y harness. Once that's in there, now I have two leads coming out, I'll plug one of them back into the slave cable for my BEC. And then the second one I'll use to plug into the fan. Just tighten everything up here. All right, I could probably stand to do a little bit better of a wiring job. I'll do that after the video. But now I want to plug this thing in and see how it sounds because a lot of the other cooling fans which I've used in the past have a very, very bad sound. <laughs> they make a really rattling sound. From this one, from what I've heard and what I'm about to find out, it's very quiet. So let me grab a battery and let's see. Alright, moment of truth. Wow. <laughs> okay, that thing is powerful. It is blowing a lot of air. I can just feel the air coming off it. And the sound is very good. It doesn't have a high-pitched whine or a rattly noise. I'm impressed. Well done, Scorpion. Alright guys, so here we are. I have two identical models. Both of these are the Logo 700 VTX 717 blades. Scorpion 4525 520kV motor and Tribunus 200 amp ESCs. The only difference is the yellow and orange one has no cooling fan. The green and white one has the new Scorpion high speed cooling fan. So let's see what kind of temperature differences we get. Let's start with this. Take him, baby, won't you let me 
135 degrees. Hundred and four, hundred and eight, hundred and ten. Very cool after a very hard flight. All right, so there you have it. Those are the results. This helicopter running without a cooling fan was at about 135 degrees Fahrenheit, which is around 57 degrees centigrade. This helicopter with the cooling fan was at 110, which is about 43 degrees centigrade. So that works out to about a 25 degree different Fahrenheit and 14 degrees different and centigrade. So obviously the fan works as expected. Uh, if your ESC is running a little hot just due to canopy airflow, flying style, ambient air temperature, make sure to check out this product. Also, if you just want a little bling on your model, this is a great product to get. So thank you for checking this out. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.